Verdaccio board, and I know some of you guys are hauling them around like this and like that, and you're going to get dust on them. So, um, what I would suggest you guys do if you're not coming in to work on them is what I've simply done is take a piece of cardboard, trace it out, and what I'm going to do is just cut it to fit that shape of that that painting or whatever you're painting on, whether it's board or canvas, it all is the same thing. Um, the way that you can transport wet paintings, you can also stack them as well. Um, so this is um, Serena's painting. I simply created, uh, cut out some cardboard bits. And if you don't have cardboard, what you can do too for the sides is money. When I'm on a workshop, I'll actually take my quarters and pennies and put it on the side. So what we're doing is basically creating air around here. So I'm gonna put them all in the corner and, um, and I'm gonna do one more to show you basically how to create them all the same. The other thing is really great as well that you can probably find, but maybe you don't wanna to touch right now would be, would be um, the tops of water bottles or even Sprite bottles. And so they, they're just plastic, right? And so you can, you can use them for the corners is what I'm trying to say. So now what I'm gonna do is put them on here, but I'm gonna lightly tape it on here so it doesn't move. Uh, and the beauty of this again is that cardboard is free and you can find them anywhere. And I'm putting it on the corners like this because I know it's gonna shift as I move it. And, and this is a great idea also for you people who keep taking stuff with you, which is what you're going to do because that's, you know, we're not always in class. What I'm trying to say is that your contemporary paintings you're gonna probably be taking home as well. Now I know that it's gonna mess up my corners a little bit, but that's better than the whole thing, right? So if you look at it now, we've got something that's raised, whether you use pennies, whether you use um, the caps of, you know, a water bottle. Um, what I'm gonna do now is basically put it right on top and then take that down as well, okay? And depending on how thick your cardboard is, uh, you don't want it too flimsy or else it's going to collapse onto your painting. This is better than putting a piece of plastic on it because the plastic is going to mesh into your oils and then you're going to mess up, right? And then you spend all that time painting it. Um, now what it will do is now you've created a surface that will, has air in between it. You can do this with paper as well. Um, but let's say I wanted to stack another painting. I could put another painting here, basically, put more of these on the top of this, okay? So I'm kind of talking about this as I'm at a workshop class, and then I can put another piece of board on top and tape it. Um, that's a great way to transport wet paintings. Now, what I have now is something that I could then take home with me, right? You can always, even if it's a big painting, what you can do is create, like, you know, a handle of some sort as well, all right? Um, for your canvas one, what you guys, because this is flimsy and canvas, I, um, is it okay if I rip it? Okay, because you're going to anyway. Uh, what, what I would suggest you do with these as well is you can, if you have a bunch of wet paintings, to do the same thing as to stack them on the corners. And if you find that it's too flimsy, you could put, a, a whole piece of cardboard just on the top, just to lift it a little bit, and then you're gonna do the same thing and tape it, and then you can bring it with you, all right? It's an excellent way of not um, getting your, you know, your backpacks or whatever dirty, okay? Um, that's how to transport wet paint. Any questions? All right, I'll edit it.